So excited to be heading back to Queenstown, but one thing that I'm finding is real strange this morning is Packing is so much more challenging. It makes me realize how lazy we've got in a way with the way that we've been packing because we've very much had this attitude like Oh, just chuck it in. Oh, that'll be fine. We'll just chuck that in the boot because everything we've been doing lately is in the car, right? Yep. This time it's a flight. We do have a, we do have a large limit. Yeah, we do. We do. But um, It's just strange, isn't it? Yeah. Like, Thinking about planes again, what can you take? Yeah, and the thing with Queenstown at the moment is that it's really cold in the morning mm. and super hot in the afternoon, well not super hot, but warm in the afternoon. Yeah. So it's kind of, we got to pack for all seasons. And then we're going to be doing, you know, everything from hikes to flight boarding on Lake Wakatipu to nights out. It's fun unbelievable. Yakking. Yeah, to fun yakking, to getting on bikes, to go to vineyards. So it's like, that's why we have so much stuff. But we are real excited for this. And the reason we've got such an awesome itinerary is because we've been filming a complete guide to Queenstown for Jetstar's We're Next channel. We'll be sharing it all in more detail on our vlogs here over the next few weeks, but for a highlight package of a week in Queenstown, check the video description for a link. Everybody remember what those look like? It's so weird going through security again. It's actually only been a year we worked out. The last time that we were on a plane was when we went to Queenstown as well for Stacey's 30th birthday as a bit of a surprise. But it's funny how much changes and it feels like changes in 12 months because this just feels like a whole new experience. Stacey's like, what gate are we at? I was like, I have no idea. We're just kind of skipping some of the details and stuff. Just going with the flow. Cruising now, 36,000 people have just passed overhead. New Plymouth reading from here is going to take us down the centre of the South Island over here, Tekapo, and towards South Queenstown from there. That's it from me then. I'll leave you now on the very Cape so you can come and team on board, loop by Cameron John. Once again, welcome on board. We've got a beautiful day. Welcome you gotta love that. to Queenstown. We just landed through the mountains. It was such a beautiful flight. It always is. It's picture perfect. Look at it. This place is amazing. We got our little beast for the week. We do. Rav4 our... hybrid. And we hired it with Thrifty. And the whole process was super quick and easy. Real simple. So straightforward. Uh, the hire counter is actually right before you pick up your bags. So it's a great time of year to be traveling though, I think, because it's not, it's not too busy. True. So we were just like, we're in and out and we're on the road with what felt like about 10 minutes wasn't it? Yeah but some time was spent being like okay so what's a hybrid? Oh, 100%. <laughs> is it on because it's so quiet? But the sick thing is I can see this is going to do 816 kilometers to a tank so I mean that, I'm down for that but I'm down for this as well. Lake Wakatipu right yeah, here. Beautiful. We're always smiling when we come here and it's a different time of year than when we were here last time when it was a bit more snowy and everything now it's sunny there's no shouldn't be looking too far, but there's there. no snow up on the oh, mountain. So no. say there's not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> there's one there, one there, one there. Yeah, that's true. So we're heading down into town anyway. We've got to make the most of it while we can. You likely already know where Queenstown is, and that's nestled away in the heart of the Southern Alps in the South Island. It really doesn't matter what season you visit, there's always something going on and it seems like there's just endless amounts of things to see, do, eat and drink. But despite that... People are often saying that they've done everything in Queenstown. <laughs> and one of it, like, we always come up with these random things to be like, well, have you done this? Well, have you done that? Tonight, we're doing something that we haven't done, but we always look at, eh? We are going to Perky's, which is a floating bar. It's like, not the classiest <laughs> of places. It's so random. But uh, we have a wee discount, a oh, cheeky yeah. discount. So we thought, why not? So clear. I don't remember ever walking on this boardwalk. Don't you? I don't think we've been on this bit before, have we? We definitely have. Oh, we haven't been on that. Pacific Gym, <laughs> we'll, we'll take that. Luxury cruising at its finest. That would have been fun to do. <laughs> Next time. For sure. I can hear someone playing bagpipes as well. I love the bagpipes. Do, 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 oh no, that's do, Irish do, fiddle, do. babe. No, I'm doing... <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool area along here, if, you've, if you don't recognise any of this. This is uh, kind of their waterfront, so to speak. It goes right the way along the lakes and you can see down there. Is this where the ice bar is? Yeah, ice bar. There's restaurants and bars and everything sort of dotted right the way along here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I totally should have waited until you got on. Oh, where we go? Oh, that's the inside. Go around that side. I, mean, I don't know why I'm, I'm surprised by that, like it's a boat, right? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just a boat that serves alcohol. <laughs> Hello. Thanks. 
surrounded by all the ball of boats here. The Luanda experience? No idea what that is. Fishing boat, the <laughs> Ernstlaw in the background. And look at that. A few mates down here. Thank you. Lovely, thanks mate. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Ice cold beer, tick. But when it comes to food, there's a controversial debate we've been meaning to weigh in on for years now. <laughs> I'm taking the sunnies off for this one. We always, we always go to Ferg. Like we love Ferg Burger. That is like the place you have to go for a burger when you come to Queenstown. Exactly. And people always comment and they say, nah man, it's Devil Burger. Devil's where it's at. So we decided this time, even though we left and we were thinking right now we're gonna go get a Ferg, we've just been chatting and we were like, I think we should do a Devil. Oh, it's so nice here. <laughs> so nice. That's the gondola up there. If you oh, haven't seen yeah. any of our previous videos or not been to Queenstown, that's where you get the best views down across the lake. Good times. All right, let's go get a burg. Oh, wow. similar. I was looking for one with like barbecue and bacon. Cheers. Thanks. Hiya. What are you up to? Can I please get a large devil burger with bacon? Yeah. Um, and a regular devil staircase, no pineapple, no red onion. Yeah. And some chips and aioli please. We got the goods. And have we got the goods all right here what too. What a spot. Look at this. That's a cute cafe down there as well. That's where I re always remember you said your famous <laughs> line that we've yeah. used so many times. We love we, this place. We might as well throw it in one more time, <laughs> just for good measure, why not? What an absolute beautiful way to start the day. So nice. I love it here. It's just so relaxing. Even after traveling for three years full time, like this is still, one of our favorite places ever. That's where we're walking along. There's the pier, the boats, the Southern Discoveries where we were. That's the one that we want to go on. Along there. Anyway, Stacey's already eating chips. <laughs> I'm not supposed to show that. Mm, they're good, salty. Cheers. Cheers. I got some aioli as well. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Nice chips. They taste like fish and chips, chips. You know what's funny is when we did the Q&A video recently, somebody asked in the quick fire, when you're having hot, hot fries like this, or hot chips, ketchup, or mayo. And some people like did not even process that mayo was one of the options. They thought that we were supposed to say aioli. aioli. Mayo is an option. Mayo is an option on fries. And mayo if you haven't tried it, you should. Mayo is definitely an option. Go so for that, it. So that's why we mentioned when we were in, um, when we were in Brussels in, in Belgium, they, their thing is fries, triple fried or something <laughs> like that. So like, good. Quite heavy, quite, quite fat heavy anyway, but they put mayo on them. What was going on? We must give off good vibes. Uh, how was it, babe? I started without you. That's okay. <laughs> it's quite nice. I've only taken one bite so far. Okay. But I'm into it. Barbecue-y. So it's not really comparing apples with apples because I didn't get a barbecue-y burger at Ferg. All right. So this is the large. Is which... it any bigger than mine? That is, it's larger oh, than yours. Yeah. It, it definitely is, is. I'd say it's probably comparable in terms of overall size. We've got some lettuce, onion, Tomato, beef. I added bacon, obviously the one big beef patty. Very cheesy on top. Mm. So I would say in a vacuum, fresh, tasty, juicy, chewy, large, crispy bacon, good flavors, nice sauce. Comparatively, which is kind of what we're trying to do, I think I like Ferg better. Me too. But then that's, I don't know if that's necessarily to say that one is better than the other, because I feel like- You just said I like Ferg better. I like Ferg better, but. I think it's, that dude is driving a motorbike with a big Pikachu hat on. Um, I think it's, I'm sure you could get one on a good day, one on a bad day, and it would be, it's like, I think it is that close, but I feel like Ferg has the reputation it does for, for a, a reason. reason. But this is really tasty, and this is a lovely scene. I'm just happy to be spending our first night chilling like this.
This is a place that we've never actually been to, but we've heard a lot about it. My parents always talk about it. I've lost Stay, she's in here somewhere. Must be around the corner. <laughs> wow, there's a lot though. Be rude not to, right? I think you're gonna like this. The Caramel Peak? The caramel Peak. Look at all of these. Yum. And then over the other side. So this is the chocolate side, right? And then over the other side, that's all ice creams and everything. Cream what do we do? Yeah, I'm a mad, mad caramel guy, so I'd be down for that. What do you want on ice cream? What do you want this? Uh, gold chocolate. Ooh, that looks Ooh, real nice. Ooh, yeah. With hokey pokey. They've got these ice cream things that you can dunk as well. Oh, dolce de leche. That just reminds me of Spain. Whatever that is. Uh, I don't want this to sound like an exaggeration, <laughs> but that was the nicest ice cream I have had in my entire life. It was delicious, and I had to keep saying to Dane, are you okay? Because he would just look at me and just go, mm -hmm. I was just, I was like, are you in pain? Are you enjoying it? I was shaking it? my head at one stage, like this is so aggressively rich, strong, delicious, complex flavours. That's flavors. what happens when you get caramel and caramel. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. it.